Not every day you get to hang out with the Vesna Trophy winner. Uh, congratulations, Mark Andre. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How did you find out? Find out uh, who who called you? I know Marty presented it to you, but uh, yeah. how, how did you first learn? Uh, it was uh, Kelly. Um, Give me a call and uh, let me know. I think it was before game um, game five here at home the night before. So that was a nice uh, nice call, right? Um, obviously, that's not where my head my head was at, but it's definitely a nice uh, uh, I don't know nice call to to get at the time. So kind of unexpected, like out of the blue, the timing of it because the award was just presented uh, this week. Um. A little bit, yeah. I didn't expect it, right? Yeah. You, uh, like you said, like it was going to be presented today. So, um, but I, I'm glad that I found out a little early, right? Then you go into uh, game five feeling good, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah, it's too bad that uh, that didn't work out uh, for game five there. So, you've been playing for 17 years. Uh, was this the most unexpected time to be a finalist and to win this thing? Uh, probably, yeah. I don't know. I never really um, play to, to to win this, right? And um, I never expected to play this long either. <laughs> so um, you know, I, like I've I've said, you know, in my statement, I'm very fortunate I get to play with such a good team and great teammates, right? With great staff and um, that helped me out, you know, throughout all the season to uh, to get this done. Did you you never really thought about the Vesna like o- over the years? Uh, not really, you know, like, honestly, I like, never went into a season or half win the season and be like, oh, I got to win the, Wiz- the Vizna, right? I got to mm-hmm. save that one to win the Vizna, you know, and it's always about just trying to win that one game you're playing in and then move on to the next one, try to win that one, right? And, um, to me, I think that's what's, uh, what's important. What came together then this year to put yourself in this position? Um... I guess age, experience a bit, right? Uh, been, like I said, I've been around for a little while now and um, understand the game a little better and uh, a few little uh, tweaks in my game with my goalie coach. Uh, my, um, like I said, my teammate, the way they bought it and uh, played the system, you know, that allowed me to, to look better, I think, right? And they blocked a lot of shots. And, um, I think all, all that together, right? I think helped help me out with that to, uh, to have a good season. Can you share any of those tweaks or those little adjustments that you and Mike made? Yeah, I think one thing was um, not being as far out, right? Um, I, I'm not the biggest guy, and um, you know, sometimes it's it's, uh, it's good when you get out, you make yourself a little bigger, right? And try to get ahead. But I felt like playing back a bit allowed me to uh, have time to react on box and have time to um, sometimes catch the box and stuff getting hit, you know, and because sometimes when you don't hit, don't get hit, right, then you don't have time to move and, and catch it or something like that, you know, so I thought it was, um, that, that was a good thing to, to be able to come back a little bit and then when there's a pass across or rebound or a broken plays, then I think uh, I was able to, to get there a little quicker than if I was far out, out of the crease. You know, you talk about the experience being an advantage, but there's also uh, when you get a little bit older, you don't want to change your ways. Uh, was it was it difficult to convince you, or are you that open minded? Uh, I don't think it was. Um, I, I I think I have throughout my career I had to change, I had to adapt. Right, there's always new little techniques that comes out here and there. And um, you know, I've, I've goalie coach in the summer also. Usually when I I go back home and skate there and. Um, I love hearing what's what's new and what, what guys are doing. I love watching goalies in the NHL, see what they do, and I love trying it, right? And um, some things just don't work for me, and some things I like, and I and I do it, right? And I I found that, uh, like I said, this being a little deeper gave me a little more time to react to Fox, and um, and I like that. So, would you categorize yourself like in the zone this year? Would would that be accurate? <laughs> um, I, don't know, I felt good, you know, the body was good. I think the, our staff or the trainers uh, kept me loose, kept me going right all season. And um, they're also a big part of it. And um, yeah, I, I felt good, you know, I just 
wanted to help the team when I when I was in that, and um, oh, that was a good season. Uh, so now it opens up the door. You've got a year left. How long do you want to play? How how long do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm like I said, I have a year left, right? And um, still having fun, right? I think some mornings I feel it more than I used to, but. Um, Still having fun, still loving the game, right? Being around the guys in the locker room and all that stuff. So, um, you know, and I guess as long, as long as I have fun, right, and I still can help on the ice, you know, I think um, I'll try to keep going. It's got to be cool, though, that you're on that trophy with the, the Patricks and the Dominics and uh, Martys, uh, I mean, all, all those guys. Like that, still, even though you may not have thought about it, has to be an absolute thrill. Uh, it is it is such uh, an honor honor for me to to be mentioned with these guys right uh most of it most of them are guys that i i look up to growing up right with my adults and um i don't know it's uh again i don't know i i, I felt very fortunate i got to be in, to play in the hl and to, to stick around for so long and um you know to have had some success and um you know very humble by uh by being named uh, the winner of this season. Did you keep this vaulted, or who did you tell uh, from the time that you found out until now? Uh, I didn't tell too many people because social <laughs> media, right? You yeah. Found it quickly, but uh, my mom, sister, obviously the wife, and um, a couple of close friends. Even them, yeah. I didn't trust them too much. So I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> what about the people, kids? Yeah. What about uh, the kids, the girls? Did yeah. they know? Um, man, uh, I yeah, we talked about it today, so I don't yeah. think they, they care okay. too much. <laughs> All right, before we let you go, uh, I know 500 wins, uh, and in, in talking to a few people, Kevin Woodley and a couple of other people, uh, was is really important to you. Uh, what where is 500 wins and scoring a goal if you have to pick? Uh, <laughs> is, is that what's left? Uh, I always take the wins first, right? But, yeah. um, uh, still, scoring a goal would be pretty, uh, pretty fun, though. Like I've been trying all my years. I know. Right? And that's, I don't know. I couldn't do it yet, so I don't have much left. So I gotta keep bearing down on, on those chances. Did you try more this year, or think about it more this year than than you ever have uh, scoring a goal, or has it been pretty? No, awesome? no. I think usually when uh, I like when we have to go lead, right? So yeah. I don't screw up and then tie the game, right? So, <laughs> Uh, actually, so that's my go-to, like under a minute with two goal lead, and uh, that's what I'll try, I guess. Uh, have you talked to Veronique? Where's the where the uh, the your version of the Vesna Trophy is going to go? <laughs> Not yet, no. No, well, you got some time to think about it. Hey, congratulations! Right. Uh, really, really cool, and uh, this is a this is a people's win, uh, and we're happy for you. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it.